While out shed hunting today, I thought I'd start and show you how to set up a Goy mineral station. These are very easy to do and hold your deer year round. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to also explain why you need to consider using Goy. The site that I found out at the bottom of this hill is kind of small. You want to have a lot of rotten material to pour that glory mineral onto. So I'm going to take some of this and move it to where I want the site. You don't necessarily have to pour it here. Any type of rotten material is really important because the rain's going to run that mineral and soak it right into this stuff. So try and find something that's rotten for the hole. That's what killed the tree for barbed wire. You take it to where you want the deer to be. This is something you can do with kids. They absolutely love getting outdoors and exploring. And if you've never set up a mineral site, take a kid with you, get yourself a trail camera, Set it up on the tree and you'll see instant results using rack stack or mineral sites. You're going to want to take a picture because I've had it many times where customers come back and they don't recognize the site because it's gone. So when it comes to mineral, when you're first setting up, you want to have about 10 to 15 pounds. This will be 14 pounds by the time I'm done. And glory is higher in phosphorus and calcium. How does that benefit you and your deer? Well, first of all, calcium and phosphorus are two of the key factors of growing a skeletal system for white-tailed deer and of course their antlers. Well, they go through what's called the antler matrix. So through the summer months, they're storing mineral from their food sources from this source, and they store that in the skeletal system. And over a 24-hour period, when they go from protein and velvet antler, over to hard antler, it all comes out of their skeletal system, making bucks very weak. So by providing glory to your deer herd, not only are they gonna consistently come here to get that mineral and the calcium and the vitamins that we have in this, it's gonna keep them on your property. It's also gonna benefit them over time. Is it a miracle cure to grow monster white-tailed bucks? No, it's not a miracle cure. What it's gonna do over time is make them habitual to the site. So put your site where you want the deer to be and don't put it in the site that's going to be close to roads. You want to make sure it's in the center portion of your property. I try and set up a mineral site for every 40 acres, so then that way you don't create any fighting or any herds that might be on the back end of the property may not find it on the south end of the property. So make sure you set up a mineral site for every 40 acres. So I'm going to show you how to pour this on here. And then what I would also recommend doing is if you've got a larger property, don't just use glory because we've also got Blaze, which is higher in vitamins A, D, and E, which helps with doe lactation and milk, of course, antler development. And then we also have Stack that you can give a try as well. This is just one thing that Rack Stacker offers that's gonna be successful. Now, if you want something that's visual, just as a reminder of what stump was there, I like using a Fury Brick. This one here is the Acorn. We have it in three different flavors. You can put that on top, so when you actually do come back out here, you'll know that that's the right stump because you have a fury brick on top. As hunters and conservationists, you always have to make sure you take your garbage out with you. Don't leave that in the bush. It's as easy as this. Because I said so. Bucks are gonna become habitual to this location. You will get does and fawns here as well. So expect to see lots of activity throughout the summer months. And as you get into the fall, grab yourself another bag and top it up because you're gonna have other deer that are dispersing. It's called natural dispersal of white-tailed deer. They're gonna travel out of their area and they'll find it as well. So I always top it up in September. Give Glory a try. I think you'll be very satisfied with the success that you have in the field. Often we get questions about how much mineral is too much mineral. Well, it all depends on your deer herd. If you've got a heavy concentration of deer, or maybe you get a trail camera where deer are kicking up and fighting each other, it's probably a better idea to set up another mineral site 100 yards away. That'll keep them spaced out and reduce the stress levels. We actually use an organic in our mineral that's a calming agent and it relaxes the deer. 
that's going to increase their body weight and increase their antler growth over time. The habitual side of this mineral is that year over year over year, as they start to dig at this and the hole gets bigger, they're going to become habitual. You will start to see those bucks increase on your property, but it's going to take two to three years before you start seeing some solid results. Biggest thing, get it out in the springtime, get started right away, and you'll start to see results over time. So the idea here is to pour the mineral on top and as it falls down, it's not only going to soak in, but see how these got all these nooks and crannies and holes? You want to fill those holes in. When those holes get filled in and soak up, you're going to start to see the deer actually naturally digest this mineral site. And it actually helps in gut health when they digest this bark. It's natural to them, they eat bark all day long. The material is not going to hurt them because they're naturally eating bark anyways. And as it soaks in, it's just going to keep them coming. I always take a picture of the site because you want to make sure that for one you know where it's at but secondly you're going to see the results of this on your next picture come back in in September throw another five pound bag on top of that that's going to bring in the rest of the deer for the area and yeah let's jump to another site and see if we can find a shed if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out rackstacker.ca